<gasps> Team Jar is evolving! That's right, it is now Inferno, which is obviously the evolved form of Chimchar. We already knew that though. So anyway, once it evolves on level 14, it'll try and learn Mark Punch, which is a really cool fighting type move. It'll always go first. Um, and we're definitely going to need it for the next gym too. So even though we have Bidu, but I just want to have a backup move just in case. So anyway, we'll get rid of Scratch for that because Scratch is going to be utterly useless for us in the future. Anyway, continuing with the normal video. Hey everyone, it's Ehaha! <laughs> wow, I should take breaths every now and then. Anyway, hey everyone, it's Eva Big Jono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum. Last time we got here to uh, Orbo City, and I did some off screen training, but Dewey's now level 11. Uh, Shinx is now level 13, it learned Spark off screen, which is a really awesome Electro type move. And as you all saw, we evolved Monferno. Oh, we evolved Gym Trainer Monferno, sorry. Um, and it learned Mark Punch. So anyway, the first thing we have to do here is head to the far south of the city, which will be the Orbo Mine. Uh, over here is a Pokeball. Yep, it sure is. Now... Uh, <laughs> Of course it doesn't do that. Okay, uh, anyway, whatever. Um, there are a fair amount of items that you can collect in Orbo City. I'm just going to say that right now, and they are pretty useful for this stage of the game. I'm going to use the repel that we found on Route 203, just because I don't think we can actually buy repels yet. This guy will give you a flame plate later on in the game, um, which is a certain plate that you can use on a certain uh, legendary Pokemon, and... Well, I'll, I'll just say Arceus, which is a legendary Pokemon you can catch later in this game. Um, and it'll become a fire type Pokemon. So, anyway, right here. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, a boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get a badge from the Jimmy Town, you'd be able to do, to do this too. Of course, you have to beat me, the gym leader, first. That'd be me. Uh, anyway, so that was Rorik. He is his town's gym leader. There are a couple of trainer fights that are down here, and I would really like to do them to get a little bit of level up on Shinx and Badu. Badu does learn Mega Drain at level 13, which is really going to be useful for the Orbo gym badge. So, anyway, I'll quickly go ahead and cut these, this out. Yep, uh, no mercy for you. Anyway, whatever. Uh, this item here is a potion, another free potion. God, they're just really handing, handing them out. Wow, Pokemon! Oh God, I can't wait to buy repels, seriously. I mean, I know a lot of people say repels are a waste of money, but seriously, I'd rather waste money than be held up for a million hours. All right, here is another fight here that I will cut out to. Okay, now that that's over, that guy there isn't a trainer, so we don't really need to work. Oh, for the love of God! But yeah, we don't need to worry about him at all. Um. Okay, so now that we've done that, uh, let's go and grab some of those items that we can get in Orbo City. By getting out of this mine, for starters. Come on, number one Pokemon, come on. Almost there, yes! Okay. Now, I'm under the understanding that uh, there are like a lot of balls Wow, that sounded really wrong. I mean, obviously there are a lot of balls in Orbo City because there are obviously a lot of men living here. Oh God, I'm not gonna even go on about that anymore. Um, let's just quickly heal up because obviously Badu and Shinx both actually took a fair amount of damage in those battles, even though I was a little over level for those battles, but whatever, they somehow managed to get attacks off on me because, you know, they were actually getting critical hits on me, yeah. Low kick, oh, well, not really, not necessarily low kick, but even stuff like tackle and stuff, it was just really ridiculous. Anyway, over here, in this house here, if we talk to a girl, I can't remember which girl it is, though. Probably a boy. I'm pretty sure, no, I think it's a boy. This guy? No, it's not this guy. No, definitely not this guy. Oh, wait. Yes, if you could show uh, Jadu to that guy, he'll give you a... 
pretty useful Pokeball, I guess, but we don't have a Jadu just yet. But when, once we do catch one for a slave, I will go ahead and show that to him. Uh, there are items in this town that you'd actually need um, uh, the, the dowsing app for because they're just impossible to find. Anyway, if... Nope. Uh, there is someone here you can talk to to get a Great Ball from. Nope. Okay, I, I'm... Yeah, there we go. Oh, sorry, it's a Dust Ball, not a Great Ball. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, Dust Ball, the uh, Great Ball somewhere else. Uh, that's a Dust Ball which you can use. It's easy to catch Pokemon at night. Um, it's actually a pretty good ball. Like, it's a night, it's night time. It's 107 in the morning at the moment. So I guess if I wanted to catch Pokemon right now, I could use that Dust Ball. And it wouldn't be too hard for me to, to actually get them. Uh, now I'm just going to say this now. I'm not really going to try and bother finding any items over here. But, remember I was talking about the Dowsing Machine app a few seconds ago? Well, if you use the Dowsing Machine here, there are actually a fair few items you can find here. In Diamond and Paul, you can actually find a, st a Stardust here because you can't find it in Plat- Sorry. We found a Stardust in Jubilife City in Platinum, but, uh, you can't actually find the Stardust over here in Platinum. Instead, it's over here in Diamond and Pearl instead of Jubilife City. Anyway, that guy there gives us a Super Potion, which is really handy. That'll become handy in the gym fight in case you're underleveled. Um, so yeah, you practically got a free Super Potion. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, I think. Oh, no, wait, no, there is another item over here that we can get if we come into this house here. Pretty sort of great balls in this house. We go onto the second floor. And... Talk to this boy. Yep, here we go. He gives us a great ball. So we've just got two kinds of Pokeballs for free. That's right. Free. We did not even have to buy them. He just gave it. They just gave it to us. There are a lot of free items you can get in uh, Orbo City, which are really handy early in the game. And they'll definitely come handy later on in the game and in the present of the game too. Um, okay, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and take on the Orber Gym. Now, we won't fight Rorik in this episode, so I want to save that for the next episode, but we can go ahead and take on his gym trainers now. Since there is a really cool kid I want to talk to in here, which is this kid here, he's so awesome. You've waited a long way around, I see why you do that. Now, his text might not be awesome, but look at his name! He has my name, which makes him really, really cool. I don't know why I'm freaking out over a kid having my name, but whatever. Actually, his name, my name is spelt slightly differently to his. Uh, his has J-O-N-A-T-H-O-N. I'm J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N, which is a slight difference, but doesn't really matter. Um, anyway, let's, I don't really know how it survived that, to be totally honest. But, but you will learn Mega Drain in a couple of moments, because... He'll probably level up at the end of this fight, actually, I think. Does he have two Pokemon? If he has two Pokemon, then we, we will. I don't Oh, wait. And he has one Pokemon, doesn't he? Yeah, okay, see? So, but you will learn Mega Dragon at the next fight. Which is just in time, because... That'll be just in time for Rourke, and Mega Dragon is going to be so awesome against Rourke, because this is going to utterly rape his entire team. Except for his Kranidos. Kranidos is a little bit of a pain in the butt. I'm not going to lie, because... Kranidos is actually a really great physical attacker and a great physical wall. Even though uh, Mega Drain is a special attack, it's just that, like, it doesn't have a quad weakness to it, so it won't go down to it as easily as Jadu does. But still, the fact that we'll be able to, we'll be able to get uh, a special type attack off on it is good. I mean, we have we always have Monferno as backup in case Bidu happens to die, but here we go, Mega Drain. Let's go ahead and get rid of Absorb for this. We don't need Absorb, but Mega Drain is a much better move than Absorb. Mega Drain has a power of 40 instead of a power of 20. Uh, pretty much does the exact same job as Absorb, except that it obviously has double the damage, so... Any Ooh, an Onyx. Looks like we're getting to see Mega Drain for the first time here. Against an Onyx. <laughs> See, the good thing about Mega Drain and Absorb, though, is you get health back. So, if we do happen to lose health against Rourke, at least we'll be getting some back with Mega Drain, since we'll be, we'll, get, we'll be gaining half the health that we took. So, if we take 20 HP away, we'll be getting 10 HP back, which is awesome. Anyway, now that we've fought off his Gym Trainers, I say that we take on Rourke in the next part. So, next time in Pokemon Platinum, we'll take on the first Gym Leader in Sinnoh. See you guys then.